guys so welcome to KO tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the modeling of this particular living room over here so let's continue it so now what I'll be doing over here will be modeling this uh, side table over here how we can model over here is like it's very simple so very first of all uh, I can just go over here there are multiple ways I can do it using a line as well or I can just give a bend over here so uh, I can just go over here and let's take a rectangle over here I'll just shuffle this up go into this enable in viewport increase its radius over here in this way like this slightly reduce it convert to editable poly so select this edges let's give multiple connects over here if needed select this let's give multiple connects and now I have a line over here go into this let's give a helix over here so I can just assign a helix over here so select this helix drag it over here enable in viewport and increase the number of turns I'll just increase its height in this way I can do that I can increase the radius slightly slightly I can reduce decrease its radius over here if needed so I'll just reduce the radius as well in this way still I can reduce the radius I can reduce the radius here as well and now over here I can slightly increase it so we can just make it to 1.3 over here 1.3 I'll do it increase its turns if needed and increase its height again so go over here enable in viewport and reduce its thickness again reduce its sides if needed again you can just make such copies over here if needed and you can make it much closer you can increase its turns like this you can give some variations over here like this and you can just make some copy over here so that can be done on both the ends if needed so you can give some variations again I'll slightly increase its height overlap this in this way again you can just make a copy of it rotate it slightly we can just place it over here now select this so select this whole thing
so let's convert to editable poly and let's select this and let's give over here attach so I can just attach this all so I can easily attach this so once it is attached now this is all one I can go over here and if you want to try you can first give a bend modifier you can first let me save the file once I can just give a bend modifier yes so you can easily bend this so now it's very helpful over here so I can just bend it easily I'll just push this down over here now looks much better so I'll just delete this bend first I'll again go over here I'll take a box over here let's take a box so I'll just increase its height slightly and increase the segments so convert to <coughs> poly over here and let's again go over here and let's attach it with this so I can attach it and let's give again a bend modifier and let's give a bit of bend over here all together that looks okay now now looks better so now for this support over here we can again take a box and if you want you can take a cylinder as well I can just take a box over here so slightly reduce this settings over here so just push it up so I'll go over here convert to poly so just drag this up in this way slightly we can tilt it so if needed first I'll uh, convert to poly and I'll resize it so then it would be easy for me to do over here now I'll just select this and let's mirror it copy it in X axis so select this both select this again duplicate it in this way so we can just duplicate this element in this way now what I can do is I'll just go over here I'll again take a line tool over here now what I'll do is I can just take a line tool so let's just take a line tool over here so before that uh, I'll select this all and I'll just attach it so this is having lot of details so it's going to take time over here so let's just select all the edges and slightly I can assign a bit of 
chamfer to it and let's click ok so go down again take a line that's it now I can just shuffle it in this way so select this so go away here and increase a bit of its thickness so drag it in this way so select the vertices push this a bit out so select this and this and let's give a bit of fillet so slightly add a fillet so similarly I'll be again using a helix over here I'll save the file once so let's again use a helix over here similarly so take a helix again I'll opt this enable in viewport Oops. so go into this let's reduce the turns over here and I can shift it in this way so it's very important you reduce the height as well and similarly I'm going to reduce the radius over here so select this again adjust it slightly okay now you see that it has to be uh, adjusted on top of this so I'll just shuffle this over here in this way and increase the turns if needed let's go into this enable in viewport and you can slightly reduce its thickness over here and reduce the segments sides as well so we can just keep it less reduce its height more and reduce the turns as well so just push this up adjust it in this way if you want you can uh, reduce it okay this is correct now similarly again I'll just make a copy in X axis as well like this so we can get this so again I'll mirror it over here same as well again select this <coughs> and mirror it in Z axis as well down so I'll again go over here I'll adjust it I'll slightly rotate it and I'll fit it in this way fit it over here select this select this whole thing and we can just make a copy of it over here as well so just save the file all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial